Hi guys, and welcome back to The Wargamer. Now, if you're a Space Wolf player, you will have access to a large amount of helmetless Space Wolf heads, each of which sporting an interesting hairstyle. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can paint these heads, and I'll be using the Citadel range of paints to do so. Now, before we can begin painting our Space Wolf head, we first of all need to prime it, and for this, I've gone for a black primer. It doesn't really matter at this stage which you use if you go for a black or a grey primer as they're both quite dark and will give you some nice shading. Now I've also kept the head separate. It'll make painting some of the areas such as the ponytail and the back of the head a lot easier. The first step in painting our skin is to apply a base coat of Bugman's Glow. Now Bugman's Glow is a base paint which means it has a slightly higher pigment concentration so it should cover really nicely over the base coat. However I would still recommend creating a mixture of one pot paint to one pot water allowing that layer to dry thoroughly and then applying at least one more coat over the top and this will give you the best coverage possible. Once our base coat has been completed, the next step is to apply a glaze of Cadian Flesh Tone. Now to create your glaze, I would recommend mixing in one part paint to one part Lamium Medium, and then we'll be applying this over the entirety of the skin. Once this has dried, I'll then be targeting a second layer of glaze to the more prominent areas, such as the forehead, the nose, the cheeks, basically leaving the darker Bugman's glow visible in the recesses. This will basically give us the effect of a nice transition between the lighter skin tone and the darker skin tone in the recesses. Following the Cadian Flesh Tone Glaze, the next step is to apply some highlights using Kislev Flesh. This time we'll be focusing this around some of the raised facial features, such as the bridge of the nose, the eyebrows, the cheeks, and also the lips and the chin as well. The final step in painting the skin is to apply a targeted wash of Reichlin Flesh Shade. Now we'll be applying this around the main facial features, such as the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and this will not only give us some colour variants in the skin, but also pool into those recesses and really give us some good definition. Now personally, I would recommend watering down the wash slightly, roughly two parts wash to one part water, as applying it straight out of the pot may be a little bit too strong. The next step in painting our Space Wolf is to paint the eyes and the teeth using a white scar. Now for these areas, I would recommend using a very thin brush with just a small amount of paint on the tip of that brush. I would also recommend using a watered down paint, roughly two parts paint to one part water, as this will give you much better control over the flow of the paint. The next area of our Space Wolf that I'll be painting will be the hair. Now I'm going to be going for a silvery blonde colouring here. Now we want to start off with a base coat of Rakar Flesh for this. Now again I would recommend making a mixture of one part paint to one part water and applying at least two thin down coats. With the base coat of Rakar Flesh completed, the next step is to apply a wash of Non Oil over the hair. This will allow us to give some better definition between the individual hair strands. Now I would highly recommend watering down your wash because applying it straight out of the pot will be very strong. So roughly one part wash to one part water should suffice and I'll be applying this wash across the entirety of the hair. The final step in painting the hair is to apply a thin highlight of Pallid Witch Flesh along the individual strands. Now again, make sure you water down your paint for this and use a very thin brush in order to get the thinnest lines possible. Now these next two steps will involve adding some additional details to our Space Wolf head. And the first of these is to apply some stubble around the head. Now for this, I'm going to be using Storm Vermin Fur mixed with Lamium Medium. And roughly one part Lamium Medium to Storm Vermin Fur will achieve a nice glaze that when applied over the sides of the head will give the effect of stubble just starting to grow through. The very final step in painting our Space Wolf head is to apply some tattoos to the face itself. And for this I'm going to be using Thousand Suns Blue. Now again, make sure you use a very thin brush for this and also water down your paint slightly as well. Roughly two parts paint to one part water should suffice. And you can follow some rough knotwork designs along the side of the face, but really these designs are up to you. And here we have the completed and fully assembled Space Wolf. If you would like to know how I painted the armor on this miniature, you should definitely check out my Space Wolves 30k painting tutorial, which you can find a link to in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below, along with your suggestions for other quick tutorials that I could do in the future. Now I'd just like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are what made these videos possible. Now if you're interested in supporting me as well, you can do so by checking out my Patreon page, which you can find a link to in the description below. And from there you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month, which will just really help me in producing future content. So all that's left to say is thanks for watching and goodbye.